Nagaland Deputy CM T R Ziliang on Tuesday taking questions related to Bagala Bahar road safety issue from media said the NHI DCL should be prepared to answer to make people aware of issues while also mentioning that people should go through proper channel to get answers. He also said that he has directed the concerned authorities to display the names of contractors besides the road being built. State of the road, Dimapu to Kohima. That Bagala uh, Bahar. Uh, that uh, uh, police, uh, all police check gate nearby. Yes, we know the terrain of the land, mm. to the uh, geological uh, critical area. So they're benching, well cutting the road. See, bench cutting should be there. One layer, second layer, and the third layer can be raw. But cutting the see, slope of the hill, straight from top to bottom and make the road. That is wrong. That's what we have uh, raised. Mm -hmm. And they have taken note of that. Mm -hmm. So they'll prepare the estimate and and see that future uh, preventive measure is there. No. Natural calamity that we have to face <laughs> because the, the landscape is as such and our hill area is as such. We face uh, landslip everywhere. And we face problems. But technically, the, the road construction, road design has to be prepared and which should be approved by the consultant group. What about the allegations divided by the NHIDCL regarding to the state government? No, no. That we have already discussed. There is no issue. Because alternative road, we are also constructing from new land to Zadima. Oh. But because of land issue, the project is stopped. Otherwise, uh, the state government will have a plan. Alternative road from this uh, Dimapur new land New land to Zadima. And new land to Zadima is only 37 kilometers, much shorter. But because of land owners' problem, the project was stalled. Sir. No, that part, uh, that part we have not discussed. But state government has already announced that compen uh, state compensation. State government has compensated, but yeah. do, do the state government feel that they sh uh, the NHIDCL should also compensate? No. Any incident take place, any incident take place, and date occur then the, it is the responsibility of the state government to compensate. So the state government has already announced. But uh, NHIDCL may not have the provision for such uh, compensation. But still then, if it is within the scope, that they should also take care. Where were but I don't think they have the scope. Yeah. <laughs> Sir, how about the FIR filed again the, against the parties uh, you know, involved in this road construction and the NHITC also? Would you like to comment on that, sir, by the uh, RPP, sir? No, that's why I have mentioned in the meeting that NHITCL should also be prepared to answer to the people. See, any kind of question, the befitting reply should be given so that people are aware. But when they don't answer, people take it otherwise. And on the other hand, public also, we should go through proper channel. We cannot become a CBI uh, investigating officer anywhere in any project. But we have to go through proper channel. RTI, you have every right to file RTI. You have every right to write to the authority that what kind of uh, answer you want from the implementing agency or from the particular contractor. But if we go straight out of the way. I think uh, public leaders also, civil society also, we should understand there is a system in governance. Governance, there is a system. So through proportional, we should get all the information. Not only this uh, road, but everywhere, the safety measures should be the priority of the implementing agency. So it is, it is not only this road, but all over Nagaland we have discussed roadways. 12 national highway road projects are now uh, under implementation. So we have discussed indeed. We are answerable to the people. Implementing agencies like uh, NPWD National Highway, BRO, and NHIDC. I said we are answerable to the people for any, any kind of incident or any defect or grievances faced by the people see, from the project. We are answerable to the people. That is my stand. And they have all uh, agreed okay. to follow up. Okay. So I think uh, so far uh, the meeting went successful. And we'll, we have decided to go see. I directed them in each package of any road 
contractor name, name should be displayed on the roadside. Who is the contractor of that uh, particular package? Mm. That should be displayed. Mm. They have agreed. So sometimes we should not blame only the department or NHID here. Sometimes there is a see, way to blame contractor also. So we should know who is the contractor in a particular portion of road that they have agreed. So let's hope things will be transparent and accountability.